greetings everybody hasn't it been a little while since my last video had some people in my ear kind of got to me but uh how many buttons do i have left to give none so uh zip it and faff off anyway so this video is uh, a little special it is a voice recording uh we do have a centralization of resources and uh over the past couple of years there's been a, a new phenomena a new phenomena, a group of people that now exist that have uh, been discriminated against, segregated, uh, all because they made a choice, uh, which our leaders like to say uh, had consequences. And now we have a group of people that do need help, need acknowledgement and need help, but yet the centralisation of resources now, whether that's locally in your shire or your county, uh, in your state, uh, federally or globally, uh, we are being ignored people are being ignored and the group of people I'm talking about you can probably guess and it now also includes the people who have been injured uh, and so this video is special I did go to my local my local art uh, shire in June of 2022 made a deposition which they couldn't have given two buttons about uh, but now this week I went back again to the annual electors meeting and uh, put a motion for it uh, I still don't think they'll give two buttons but I did have two councillors come to me and say a few words uh, which gives me hope uh, so I am going to play uh, that recording for you uh, so enjoy until my next video I'm gonna say bye so my motion um, is that I ask that the community and well-being informing strategy itself be revisited and adjusted okay so my name's Robin I am from Chiblo uh, on the 14th of June 2022, I presented a deputation here uh, regarding the community and wellbeing informing strategy um, and made comment that there was uh, no commitment to proactively supporting positive mental health promotion for unjabbed individuals and the unjabbed community who have been severely affected by the unlawful mandates, segregation and discrimination over the past two years. I now stand here again asking for the council to consider the well-being of unjabbed individuals and now also people in the community who have been injured by these third, fa third phase experimental injections. The President, James, and women of the council posted a video on Facebook yesterday, uh, today celebrating International Women's Day. Councillor Page. I'm paraphrasing your comments. Uh, I'm looking around, I can't find you right now. We design policies and procedures to meet the needs of the community without giving unfair advantage. Councillor Clare, we are all better for sharing our stories as women and learning and growing from each other. Councillor Karen, this year it is about equity, which means to me in a woman's life mean in a woman's life means choice. You said you wanted to recognise the challenges of the women that went before us being faced with having control over their own bodies. Councillor Nerida, most importantly, Women's Day where being different is valued and celebrated. You commented you want your daughters to be able to choose whatever they path they want in the future, whichever way they want to go. Councillor Amy, you said it's a time to raise support for genuine inclusivity and what I mean by that is speaking to women to find out what they need to support them in their chosen pathway. There are parts of the community who are still suffering from these unlawful mandates. I am one of them and I speak to a lot of them in our community. Please listen to your own words, make an effort to consider and reach out and help all the members and you have a duty to serve the community, every member. I ask the community and wellbeing strategy itself be revisited and adjusted to include objective and commitments for the unjabbed and injured members of the community as well. After all, doesn't the Shire pride itself on being inclusive? Thank you.